Halloween celebrations are already underway in the Grand Valley, and Harvest View Church hosted a candy catch in Grand Junction this afternoon. This was the fifth annual candy catch held at Long's Family Park. Children and adults alike dressed up in their costumes, lining up to get candy, but this wasn't your traditional trick-or-treat. The candy was chucked from catapults. I mean, what, what can go wrong with a booth that catapults candy at you or an air cannon that shoots candy and rains down onto you? Uh, but yeah, each year we've seen it grown. Uh, we've seen up and around a thousand plus people. And the line did stretch out pretty far. Hayden tells us the goal is to give families in the community a safe place to celebrate this time of year. Well, the trial over the proposed merger between Kroger and Albertsons closing arguments wrapped up on Thursday. The state of Colorado is suing to block the merger, claiming it will lead to higher grocery prices. Now, the attorney general released a statement saying in part, quote, in all events, the merger is bad for consumers, workers, farmers, and communities. They also reached out to Kroger for a statement but haven't heard back yet. The parent companies of King Supers and Safeway have maintained the merger would be good for consumers and lead to lower prices. There's no word on when the judge will make a ruling. A Halloween season tradition for the past three decades it was held over the weekend in Manitou Springs. You're looking now at video from the 30th running of the Emma Crawford Coffin Races in the small town of, uh, what was the town there? Manitou Springs. Manitou Springs. Thank you very much, Stephen. The event draws thousands of people every year as costume teams rush, push, shove, and drag homemade coffins on wheels with the passenger on board through the city streets. But part of the fun is also the amazingly creative costumes in the crowd as they pay homage to the event's namesake, Emma Crawford. Just so you know, back in 1891, Crawford passed away here following her wishes. Her coffin was carried 7,200 feet up nearby Red Mountain, where she was eventually buried. But in 1929, after harsh winters and spring rains, Emma's coffin was uncovered and came racing down the mountainside where it was found by some local kids and from that the Emma Crawford Coffin Races was born. Well, Denver is home to a world-renowned rehab hospital, Craig Hospital, specializing in research and treatment of patients with brain or spinal cord injuries. Yeah, yesterday the Craig Foundation held its annual pedal for possible fundraising event, an adaptive and non-adaptive cyclist took over the High Plains Raceway. Brian Flores has more about one of the loved cyclists has for the freedom that event brings to her. I was in a side-by-side -side ATV accident back in September of 2019. The accident happened while the family was on a camping trip to Wyoming. Ashley made angels in the sand with her son moments before her whole life changed. It was a hard pill to swallow. It was a big transition. In the last five years, Ashley Bristol has learned to navigate the world in a new way. Craig Hospital helped her set new life goals. Remind myself and tell myself that I'm still enough. I'm still a mother. I'm still a wife. I still can come home and do family things. Ashley achieved those goals and so much more. She went on a family trip to Florida, got a sociology degree, and learn how to bike again. Not only do you have the breeze on your face, you have the sounds of the gear shifting, you have the giggling of your child having an experience alongside you. Ashley has put some energy into her pedal for possible ride this year. I tried to go around and think of anybody that I knew was a previous patient at some point around uh, Morgan County and asked them to go ride with me this year. Born and raised in Morgan County, now Ashley has a new goal for her rural hometown. I want to bring awareness around inclusion and disability and how important every life is, no matter what life it is.